Hey guys, so happy Wednesday. Wanted to jump on and tell you the start of my week was not the best. Mozzie was throwing up Monday, started later afternoon, um, gave him an anti-nausea pill that I have, and the next day gave him a little bit of boiled chicken breast and some brown rice and he threw up again one time not as much early afternoon so text dr pearson um she could not get him in she was booked yesterday um and for today um so called my regular vet and made an appointment for this morning at 10 a.m um but i gave him a little bit of dinner some more boiled chicken breast brown rice and he held that through the night, um, through the morning, held it down, gave him a little bit more breakfast this morning, about eight o'clock, and he seemed to be doing fine. He's acting his normal self besides the throwing up. Um, the first day he was throwing up Monday, which was a little bit worse. Um, he was, you know, wanting to lay around. He really wasn't wanting to do much, uh, which is expected. And then, the next day when he just threw up that one time, he was totally fine otherwise. And he's been totally fine since. So I canceled that appointment for 10 a.m. Cause I thought he seems to be getting better. And if all of this fails and he starts throwing up again, I can reschedule another appointment. Um, cause I didn't really want to take him in when he was feeling a little better. Cause they'll probably want to do blood work. And on the 18th, I have to pay for blood work. I have to get his, um, blood work for his Cushing's uh, stim test redone and a uh, liver panel again redone on the 18th so I thought you know what it, since he's doing okay right now I'm just gonna hold off hopefully I'm making the right decision I always second guess myself <laughs> I always second guess myself anymore um, so yeah but he seems to be doing fine just gave him a little chicken for a treat um because the other boys had a different treat i didn't want to give him what they were having um gave him some more chicken so fingers crossed when i get back from doing my running around he is not thrown up so i've got to go take some mail some packages and mail some christmas cards to you guys who have sent me christmas cards so far so i'll share those when i get back from doing my running around and um give you another update on mozzie after i'm done doing my running around i gotta get magnum i gotta give him a bath and start grooming him i groomed milo yesterday so my goal this week is to get all the boys groomed um so yeah i really need to do grant his um hair and his feet it's really long so i've got to get him done because he had a it snowed a little bit this morning there's it's pretty much melted now but it like balled up on his um hair and his feet and he was having a hard time walking so I had to get that off his foot he had like a little snowball stuck between his toes so I really got to get Grant done too this week everybody needs to be done this week um so yeah let me get my running around done and then I'll share with you a, a gift we got in the mail there's supposedly somebody messaged me and said there's a package that should be waiting there for me today too and a package I got yesterday so I'll share all with that with you when I get back all right I'm home and I can't believe the dogs aren't barking. I've got to move my poop shoes or else Milo will grab them when I let him out of his crate. <laughs> so I've always got to move the poop shoes so he doesn't grab them. Oh, now they hear me. I think my room's a mess, so um, hold on one second. <laughs> Yep, my room's a mess. I gotta move these shoes too, because he'll grab those as well. So I'm gonna sit them right there. <laughs> He's running to go get them. He's running to go get them. He's looking. He's looking. Don't look like you threw up, Mozzie. It doesn't look like you threw up. I'm so happy. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Happy boys. Happy, happy boys. 
his grant wants out. Sometimes it may, takes him a minute to come out. My hand looks mad. Milo, are you mad? <laughs> are you mad, Milo? Are you mad because I hid my shoes from you? <laughs> if I don't, I can't find them. Yeah. I forgot to mention uh, when I was talking to you guys earlier about Mozzie. And the reason why I'm so worried about Mozzie with his uh, throwing up is because we all know his liver enzymes are so high. The one uh, liver enzymes. So I worry about that too with him throwing up. I'm wondering if it has to do with his liver. So, but wanted to mention too that Miggy, fuzzy butt Miggy, lost another couple nails since I last talked to you. So he's been doing a lot better with getting around and um, doesn't have the pain like he was having um, since those nails have come off. So I'm so happy for him. The other day we were playing with his ball and he was running around and having a good old time. So that's good. That's good. Okay, I'm going to um, put some stuff away. And then I want to share the cards I've gotten in the mail. Plus, I got two packages at the at, uh, the post office when I went to mail some things. I thought I'd share with you the key. You guys know Miggy is feeling better. Because when I turn on the camera, he's mouthing. That's how you know Miggy, Miggy is feeling better. Because he's back to his mouth himself. Yes, you are. So I wanted to show you the kitties here. This is how I found them when I came home. Laying in the Christmas beds over here. Yes, you're so mouthy again. <laughs> you weren't very mouthy the past couple weeks, and now you're, you're being mouthy again. <laughs> Got my grooming table out here. What are you doing, Max? A grooming table out here. Because I'm going to try to get... I might try to get Miggy done today, but for sure I'm going to get Magnum done. I wanted to show you that I had to get a magnifying glass. So I could, yes, look at your nails. <laughs> so I could look at Miggy's nails really good. It was hard to see sometimes at the base of his nail what was going on and got this on Amazon. It has a little light on it, too. Can't really tell a lot. Yep. So on Toenail Tuesdays, Toenail Tuesdays, we got to get the magnifying glass out and see what's going on with toenails. Yeah. All right, let's see. Magnum and uh, Milo open the door and let themselves out again. So we'll see if they're ready to come in. Oh, I see Magnum. I think they saw a squirrel. Did you see a squirrel? Is that why you let yourself out? Milo just pushes this door open because it doesn't latch. And just lets him and Magnum out. So I thought I would share what I got at the grocery store because a lot of people seem to... Let me move my tripod. A lot of people seem to enjoy my last grocery haul, which has nothing to do with schnauzers. So if you're not interested in this, just fast forward a little because this is real small. Um, I finally decided what I was going to make for my family, big family Christmas party, uh, what side dish I was going to bring. So I had to go get all the ingredients for that today. Um, our party is not till the 16th, but you know, the longer you wait towards Christmas to get the food items you need, the more, more likely they are to be out of stock, uh, or not have enough of what you need. So I decided for my family party. I'm going to take cheesy potatoes and green bean casserole. So I had to pick up two bags of the shredded hash brown potatoes. I had to pick up two sour creams for the cheesy potatoes. I had to pick up cream of chicken soup for the cheesy potatoes. I picked up four because they were on sale. I think they were like four for five dollars. Um, I'm making... Spaghetti tonight, so I had a coupon for free breadsticks, so picked those up. 
I got four cans of fried onions uh, for the green bean casserole. I probably don't need four, but they were on sale, so I got four. Now, I need to ask, um, anybody who makes cheesy potatoes, do you ever put these in your cheesy potatoes um, instead of just regular onions? I'm curious of how it tastes in the cheesy potatoes, if anybody's ever done that. I don't think I'll do it for Christmas because, you know, when you change a recipe, don't change it on, like, Thanksgiving or Christmas or your Easter dinner. Try it out before, just in case it's a fail. <laughs> but I might try that out one day because I know I'll have some uh, of these fried onions left over. So, yeah, let me know if you put those in your cheesy potatoes. So I got nine cans of green beans for the green bean casserole because I got to make a pretty big batch. Um, I got this for Christmas. My mother-in-law, she's the only one that eats cranberry sauce out of the family who comes for dinner. So, but I wanted to make sure she has her cranberry sauce. Bag of onions. Um, a thing of chicken uh, stock, unsalted. To, I've been putting just a little amount on Mozzie's chicken with rice just to give it a little bit of flavor. So this one's, um, it does have sodium in it, but it's very low. Um, so got that for Mozzie. Got this for my husband, some peppermint mocha for his coffee. Um, and then I got another, I think last time I shared, I got some oat bread. That half loaf to try. It was really good, but I like this one better. So I got another loaf because that one's gone. So yeah, there's my little grocery haul. Let me get the cards and the gifts that I received. Okay, got my groceries put away. Had to give Miggy some pills. I wanted to mention too, Miggy um, refused to eat his breakfast anymore because I was having to put this omega-3 and omega-6 liquid on his food. It just is one pump a day. Actually, I was giving him one and a half and he just did not want to eat his breakfast anymore. So I'm assuming it's due to this oil because he ate his dinner just fine because it didn't have this on it. So I got on Amazon, looked up this company and found that they also make it in a um, capsule. So we're gonna try this for Miggy. Um, instead of putting the oil on his food and see how he does. Hopefully that'll be okay. Um, yeah, he was getting really finicky about it. Let me get a drink of my Coke. All right, we got some packages today. Um, this one says, Kim, thanks for all the joy you bring to us. Hopefully this is something you and the whole family will enjoy from a local farm here. Love from Canada, from Mark Cage and Minnie Schnauzer, Tilly. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm gonna put this back in here so I remember who it's from. I'm excited to see what this is from a farm. I could just tell from the shape of the bottle and that it's from Canada that it was maple syrup. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to try this. I'm going to have to make pancakes tomorrow. Thank you so much. I knew it right when I saw the top of the bottle and it was junk. I knew it was maple syrup from Canada. <laughs> so excited to try it. Thank you. Okay, there's also a box in here. Um, do I need a box cutter? Yes. Let me get my box cutter out. Uh, if I can find my box cutter, do I? Oh, it's over here. So I was opening up those pills for Miggy to check them out. Dogs are. Miggy's teasing. Ooh. Miggy is teasing, teasing Magnum and Marley with a toy. Oh, I'm getting styrofoam everywhere. We don't need that toy on the floor and one of the dogs try to eat it. <laughs> then I'll really have a dog throwing up. <laughs> Let me see that over here. Okay. I 
Oh, look at this. A little schnauzer. You can put a little plant in it. This looks like it's for um, succulents, I'm assuming, to plant a succulent in it. It's so cute. I can set this in my kitchen window. I'm going to have to give me a little plant to put in there. Thank you guys so much. Thanks so much for thinking of me and the whole family with the maple syrup. I'm so excited. Thanks so much. Okay, let me set this over here. All right. This package, I still have styrofoam on me. <laughs> this package is from Cheryl. Uh, she's a fellow YouTuber. Look at, I got it even on my shirt. <laughs> styrofoam, my arch nemesis. <laughs> Um, she has a YouTube channel. We've become YouTube friends and her YouTube channel is called Cheryl's Country Home. So go check it out. And she sent me this cute card with her family and her dogs. So cute. That's a great picture, Cheryl. Love it. All right. Let's see what's inside here. A couple of wrapped packages. Some wafer rolls, cookies and cream, yummy. And a cute little spatula, look at this. Merry Christmas with a little red truck with a Christmas tree in it. Thank you. All right, let's open these packages. I love this wrapping paper. It looks vintage, vintage Santas. Oh, all you need is love and a schnauzer. I totally agree. Thank you so much, Cheryl. All right. Next one. Were you teasing them, Miggy? Were you teasing them? Miggy feels so much better. I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy those nails that were bothering him came off. Ooh, what's this? Oh my goodness! Look at this! With the schnauzers on it. Look at that. Is it got a straw? Yep. Well, it's like a straw. I love this. I love the colors of it too. The green and stuff. It's so pretty. Thank you so much. I can't wait to use it. Thank you, Cheryl. I really appreciate it. All right, let me sit this stuff over here. All right, hold on. Everybody's over here surrounding me thinking I've got treats or something for them. <laughs> okay, let me move these boxes. And then I found on my porch when I got home from Emily. Emily is such a great YouTube friend. Um, she has my home address. <laughs> so on my porch, I saw this and it comes wrapped in plastic wrap. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is an Omaha Steaks box. <laughs> Did my husband order some Omaha Steaks? He hadn't. This is from Emily and her husband, Ed. Thank you guys so much. It came with a little Christmas card inside. Let me know who it was from. Emily, you are so sweet. She got me a couple other things I need to show you guys too after I'm done here in my kitchen. All right, so in this cooler, we have some Omaha steak seasoning. Omaha steaks are so good, you guys. So good. And you can get different meat boxes as well. Like this one has an assortment. Um, it comes with um, gourmet jumbo franks, so some hot dogs. Well, why am I showing you the box? Because it doesn't show a picture of what it is. <laughs> so we got some jumbo franks. We've got some beef tenderloin steaks. They're filet mignon wrapped in bacon. These things are so, so good. Let me open this and show you. These filet mignons and they're wrapped in bacon. Oh my goodness. They cook up so nice and they're so tender but they're so good okay what else is in here 
We've got Omaha Steaks Beef Meatballs. We've got a package of meatballs. We've got individual scallop potatoes, four pieces, and then it also has four caramel apple tartlets. The caramel apple tartlets are amazing with a scoop of ice cream. They're amazing. All right, it also comes with four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And last but not least, four ground beef burgers. Their burgers are really good too. Their steak burgers are even better. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Emily and Ed. I so appreciate it. So appreciate it. I might have to make some of those steaks with our Christmas dinner. We're having um, ham, uh, sweet and savory, sweet and savory meatballs, and um, Polish sausage for Christmas dinner. So I gotta go to the butcher shop to get the fresh Polish sausage. Um, we tried out a new butcher shop that opened in Owasso, Michigan, and it the Polish sausage is amazing. Amazing. So I gotta go get that this Saturday. Throw it in my freezer um, until Christmas. Okay, so I've got some cards here. Oh, I had another gift I got the other day I wanted to share. And when I open this, here, let me move the envelopes over here so you can't see addresses. Um, when I opened this, the first thing I saw was the ornament. I hadn't seen the card yet. And I thought, this has to be from Florida. This has to be somebody who lives in Florida. Because look at this ornament. The schnauzer. <laughs> Wearing sunglasses on a surfboard. Isn't that awesome? It's just, it's so cute. So then I got the card or no. And then I, so then I looked at the envelope and I was like, they're from Illinois. This isn't, this isn't from Florida. I was so surprised. So then I opened the card, which is adorable in itself. It says waiting for Santa. Um, and here's a picture. Um, let me see. Ezra. And her schnauzer is so adorable. Let me see if, I think it tells me how old Ezra is. Um, this was taken on her first birthday this past spring. But look at how adorable. Look at that face. Kind of reminds me of Miggy when he's a little darker in the face. So cute. <laughs> but she said while she was in Florida at a Beals, in November, she saw this, bought one for herself, and bought one for me. So, I was kind of right. It is from Florida. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Lori. I love it and can't wait to put it on the schnauzer tree. And thank you so much for a picture of your baby. I love getting pictures of everybody's baby. And then I always look at them to see who it reminds me of in my pack. Love it. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, and then we got a card from Kathy. And this was an envelope. Kind of pops up. You push in, in the bottom here. It's like a bouquet of poinsettias. And then this little card was inside. Um, just a little with a little note inside. So thank you, Kathy. Um, I'm trying not to show people's addresses on this envelope. Let me move that. Okay. And then we got a card from the Sanchez family. Love it. So cute. Okay. And then a card, which I, I, I got this card out of the envelope. This is from Beth. And I was looking at it and I thought, that dog looks familiar. <laughs> It's Max. <laughs> Looks like she printed it out and cut it out and stuck it on there. It's Max in the back of the little red truck with the Christmas tree. <laughs> so adorable. Thank you so much. I got to get these cards. Now that I'm sharing them, I can hang them up to display them. But I didn't want to hang them up until I share them with everyone. Okay, and then I got a beautiful card from Linda and Skip. Thank you guys so much. It's beautiful. 
All right. I think, oh, no, no, no. I ordered something on Amazon. I want to share with you guys. Well, let me get my box cutter because this is just, I'm just going to have to be careful. If you guys remember, I was talking about wanting some Christmas pillows for my chairs out there. Let me move these parts. Um, for my chairs out in the shelter room, and I found two. Um, what in the world is this? That is not a pillow I ordered. This is a pillow I ordered, but this is not a pillow I ordered. Okay. It says, what would Dolly do? I'm assuming Dolly Parton. <laughs> this is not what I ordered. <laughs> um, that's strange. It was supposed to be a green uh, schnauzer pillow. Okay, so I'm going to have to return that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the first time I've ever gotten something from Amazon that I didn't order. That is so weird. Okay, so I got one of my pillows. <laughs> That is too funny. Too funny. Here's one. It says Merry Christmas and it has a schnauzer in the red truck. So that's going to be one of my pillows for the chair. I'm going to have to reorder the other and return this one. <laughs> that is too funny, but I, I really like it. Really like it. So, okay. I think that's it. I think that's it that I wanted to share um, from mail that I got today. So let me share with you, let me get my camera and let me share with you what I got from Emily the other day. So here is what Emily got me. She, remember in one of my last videos, I mentioned I'd like to get a sign that said Santa Paws stop here. Well, she bought me a Santa Paws stop here sign and it is adorable and it goes perfectly over there. I love it, Emily. Um, yeah, and she also got me this tree skirt with little schnauzers on it. But my naughty boys, whenever there's a tree skirt under the tree or presents, they will pee on it. And I don't know why. Because I have that tree collar under there right now. And I have a tree collar under the other tree. They won't pee on those. But they will pee on a tree skirt. Or if I put presents out early. So my presents cannot go under the tree um, until that night or that morning. Um, because my dogs, I don't know who it is. I've never caught who actually did it. But if you have male dogs and you have multiple male dogs, you know, once one pees on it, the rest will pee on it. So, yeah. So I had gotten the tree collars last year or the year before. I can't remember to try. And they don't pee on those. Um, I hung this tree skirt on the tree collar cause I thought maybe about trying to hot glue it to it. But as soon as I put the tree skirt on it, my dogs were instantly sniffing it. I, I'm not sure. I think this might've been made by someone. So I don't know if the smells on their house or wherever they make their tree skirts. I don't know, but I was too nervous. They were going to pee on it and ruin it and then get pee on my carpet. So I haven't been able to put it under there. But I appreciate it so much, Emily. And I'm keeping it because maybe one of these days I can. <laughs> maybe one of these days I can put it under there. I'm not sure. So thank you, Emily. Um, there's my one pillow. Missing my other pillow. <laughs> that is so funny that they sent me a what would Dolly do pillow over a Schnauzer Christmas pillow. That is so strange that they would get those mixed up. But anyways, okay. So just wanted to share those couple things too that I got from Emily. Um, thank you to everyone who has sent gifts and thank you to those who have sent Christmas cards. If you'd like to send a Christmas card to me, I'm sending Christmas cards back. I'm doing a Christmas card exchange. So would love to get a Christmas card from you and would even love to have a picture of your fur baby, uh, kitties, dogs, whatever it may be. Love to see pictures of everybody's fur babies. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. It's already, I can't believe, almost 3 o'clock. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Magnum now today. It's getting late. Um, then I'll have to feed them. Then I'll have to do dinner. Um, yeah. 
things have just taken me longer to, to do today than I thought they would. So I may have to do Magnum and Miggy tomorrow because I have nothing going on tomorrow. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. I hope everybody's having an amazing week and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye. I have to share before I go. The schnauzer on my Christmas tree. <laughs> right down here in the perfect spot. <laughs> the surfing schnauzer. The surfing schnauzer. I have another flat one kind of like that. I don't know if they're made by the same company. Um, but I love it. Thanks again so, so much. You love it, Milo? You love it too? Yes? You love your schnauzer tree. <laughs> Thank you.